Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a, a custom wallpaper or you can say a fantasy wallpaper. And this is done by Photoshop. And I use Photoshop CS3, so I'm going to show you how to make something. This is an, ex this is an example of, of something I did on Photoshop. This is me, it's really a signature of me putting my name there and a link to my design page I have up at wordpress.com but it's pretty cool I'll show you a whole bunch of tutorials and things to do on Photoshop to get you having really cool artworks to do and in the back here this is a dragon from Monster Hunter and I'm a really big fan of Monster Hunter I play the games I have Monster Hunter 2G so let's get started what I'm gonna do is minimize that and go up to file new select your uh the width and height of your desktop wallpaper you want to have you can have it at any size and width you want it but i'm gonna just stick to my my screen size 1440 by 900. i have a 17 inch screen so yeah so what you start off with let me look minimize the uh, image what you have here is a blank white canvas. What you want to do is just come over here to background, double click it, press OK. Now you have, what I like to start off with is a whole bunch of styles with different color glossy patterns and everything. So I don't have to manually do it because that does take a bunch of time. Well, if you know what you're doing though. So. You can just pick one of those and look, you got a star here. But I'm, I don't want to do too much of the stars. I want to do something plain, like a black. You know, see, I have a black layer here. It's not like a gradient style. <coughs> also, you could just, if you don't, if you don't like that, then you could just come over here to the paint bucket tool, select gradient. And select the gradient you want. <coughs> now I downloaded a bunch of gradients, so you could download them off the internet. Probably give the link if I can remember it. But you want you can take the gradient, you know, just sample out some of that. Oh wait, wait, see the mistake I did here? I forgot I already applied a style to it. So what I'm gonna have to do is just uh. Go to edit or compress control C to undo. Oh no, control Alt C. And just now that I have a plain background, now I'll apply the gradient. Now, I got this really cool blue design. So, you might want to come over here to uh, the shapes, custom shapes. Uh, select a really cool design. Let's see. I like dragons, so let's select this dragon here. And just simply drag the dragon out. And move to. And just move over here. Or move somewhere where you're happy with it. Now what I like to do is select the custom style to give this plain shape some rhythm. Now see what I did? I clicked that like, plaid style and it gave my dragon a plaid look. Maybe I might not want that. I could just select some something different. Some more something that stands out a little more. Let's say I try red. No. Okay, look, something that blends in with it. Now I have like a like a sea blue dragon. Now that's how that looks. Now what I'm going to do here, I just type in some text. You might want to give your wallpaper some text to it. So what I'm going to do is just type in my design link. Mikey. Oh, let me do this lowercase www.mikey18.wordpress.com and 
give my text some length. That looks good. And I come over here to my move tool. Select this. And bring it down here. Now what I'm going to do is uh, give my text some style. Let's see, pick that blue again. See something lighter. Okay, that looks cool. Make it lighter blue. I'm gonna come over here to my brush tool and select a cool brush to pick. I'm gonna go with this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see, I select this. It's gonna actually rasterize the layer. You might wanna increase the diameter okay, let's see okay just give your design some effect oh wait I meant to start a new layer so control and alt z to undo when you start a new layer start a new layer with this now apply. Now it's like a black flower floral design. Now there's also a way of making your own brushes, but I'm not here to do that kind of tutorial right now. So I'll show you that in the future videos I'll be putting out. Next, I'm gonna put. No, you know what? I'm gonna make another shape too. I want this dragon. This looks cool. It's like the year of the dragon here. That looks cool. Select the move tool. And just simply move that up. And come over here to opacity. Up. Just select another layer and it kind of like blends in. You get that kind of blend effect there. And finally, you might want to just go back to the, the brush tool. Let's see. Want some more flowers. This looks cool. I use this a bunch of times earlier, so. To make it look like it stands a little more, just increase the depth. And just there you go. And how that design I just put in didn't affect the dragon is because the dragon is one layer above layer one, which is that design I just put in. So anything under the layer of your design, anything is going to be behind it logically so and lastly I might just add another text here I might just add something that says Mike oh wait text tool highlight let's give my text some length and something a little bigger Since it's black, it looks kind of plain. Let me see what I do here. Let's see, no, that looks okay, but I'll just stick with the blue. Now you have this really cool design. It look, really looks cool. Let me kind of enlarge it. And that's how it looks.